Hello, everyone. Um, we apologize for the delay in the town hall. So, um, since Regents and graduation and everything came, it took a little while for us to be able to put this together. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who is participating. And um, if you have any questions, you can email me afterwards and I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. So we have five days left until the last day of school, which is June 27th. The Department of Education will discontinue using pupil path the next year. So parents need to sign up for their New York City schools accounts. Um, and if you need the, your access code, you can reach out to Ms. Blanca Rodriguez, who is our parent coordinator. Her phone number is on this slide, um, but she will also be working through the summer at Aviation High School. Queens Technical High School's newspaper, The Technical Truth, was distributed June 3rd. Regents exams have been taking place since June 15th and will continue through June 23rd. Invitations were given directly to students and is on their pupil path accounts. AP for All request forms were emailed to all eligible students and is available on the website. Third year students will be scheduled for a fourth year of math and or science. If you have not met the minimum requirements, you will be scheduled automatically. Summer school will be in person at Aviation High School. It begins July 5th, June 27th. It will be emailed to students and be available on the school website. Today is June 22nd. The Algebra Regents, Algebra 2 Regents is taking place. Um, and then is, I'm sorry, June 24th is a rating day. So all grades should be available for you by the following week. Some guidance updates. Um, again, just to reiterate that we will not be using people path next year. So it is very important that you sign up for your New York City schools account um, to see grades, attendance, um, and be able to access all of the information needed to monitor your and parents, your child's information. You can email Ms. Blanca Rodriguez along with also calling her um, until the 27th. And again, she will be available at aviation over the summer. The marking period ended June 14th. Report cards will be posted later on today. If not, I believe already, but grades will be posted on pupil path. Summer school schedules will be shared at aviation high school. Um, the first day of summer school is July 5th at 8 a.m. at aviation high school. Um, also the last day, is August 15th. Now it is important that you know that summer school is in person, no exceptions will be made. Um, it's also important that you understand that 54 hours of instruction are being offered. Not look good towards your grade. Um, normally attendance doesn't really play a role. However, because it is a credit, not credit recovery, but it's like a makeup of the credit that you didn't have last marking period, last term, I'm sorry. Um, it's important that you are in person and that you're there every single day. If you are use, asked to use your device over the summer and you have some technical difficulties with it, the help desk request form is available on the QT website. Seniors, graduation was yesterday, it was beautiful. And um, now to pick up your report card, your diplomas and your yearbooks, Monday the 27th at noon, you should come into the building, expect to be here about an hour and a half to get your report card, get your diploma, get your yearbook, and then 
If you need to clean out your lockers, that is the day to do so. No time before that because of testing. So please make sure that the 27th you come. If you're cleaning out your locker, make sure you bring extra bags to take your things with you. Um, and if you're a senior, you get to keep your lock. You do not need to return it to Mr. Vega. All right, I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Hatcher. Hello, everyone. My name is Madeline Hatcher. I'm the community school director for Sunnyside Community Services at Queens Tech. We just have a few updates for you all. So for the parents who are listening in, please, please, please join the parent association next year, whether that be a leadership role position or just an active participant. If you are interested in taking more of a leadership role, please email me as soon as possible uh, and we will reach out to you. We are also giving out uh, toiletries to families. Uh, again, my email address um, you see listed on the slide. Reach out to me and we'll do our best to assist you. Uh, Another update is that summer youth employment application window has closed, so we are no longer accepting um, applications. Uh, we will continue to be available over the summer should you have any questions. If you are interested in programming for the fall, we really encourage you to fill out the Sunnyside referral form and the link is located on the slide as well. Do you want me to translate, uh, Madeline? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, buenas todos, todos los padres y estudiantes. Um, vamos a trasladar lo que acaba de decir la señora Hatcher um, para familias. Si ustedes están interesado en ser parte de nuestra asociación de padres, por favor, manden un correo aquí, el que está en la pantalla. El, cualquier padre que está interesado en una posición de liderazgo en, nuestro, en nuestra asociación de padres, por favor, déjenos saber si quieren uh, ser parte de los eventos y ayudarnos, por favor, uh, senden un correo. También tenemos um, asistencia de, de útiles personales si necesitan al, algunas utilidades Todavía tenemos un par que nos sobra en la oficina. Por favor, uh, manden un correo para eso también. Um, y ya la, para nuestra preparación de carrera y de universidad, ya la, ya la aplicación de, de empleado del verano se han cerrado. Si necesitan asistencia para el, el próximo año escolar, por favor, contacte a Jordan Flores, que la información de él está aquí también en la pantalla. Um, y también que no se olviden llenar una forma de, re, de, de referimientos para Sunnyside. Siempre queremos saber más de cómo podemos ayudar y recursos que le podemos dejar saber. Entonces, por favor, um, manden un correo si tienen alguna pregunta y quieren saber más de nuestros programas. Gracias. OK, next. Sorry. <laughs> Thank over the summer, so if any of you are then you will be able to continue to see them. Um, you can read um, to see how they can So if you just need the help or the assistance to work with anybody, um,
Hello, everyone. Um, so, for college office type of updates and information for the graduating seniors, I just want you to know that you um, should have already completed your uh, college enrollment, and if you haven't, please make sure you are following the steps that I provided to you in the enrollment checklist. Um, there are many steps before you begin the first day of classes, so um, download the enrollment checklist from the Google Classroom before you lose access to it. Um, classes should be starting at some point in August for your college, so you um, should be spending the next few months finishing up any last-minute items that your college is asking of you. Um, if you do need any assistance, with anything for your college, anything last minute with financial aid or trying to understand something that the college is sending to you, any, any help you might need, please use the Summer Bridge program. The QR code on the side will give you um, a short form to fill out with your name and contact information so that a Bridge coach can contact you and begin working with you between now and the end of August. Um, again. We are not here in the building um, at Queenstown, so this would be your best source of support during the summer months for any college help you might need. For our seniors that are looking to attend non-CUNY colleges, so SUNY schools, private schools, out-of-state schools, any type of college that is not CUNY, I do need you to let me know where I can submit your final transcript. So please submit the final transcript request form right away. So far, um, I only received maybe about 10 requests. So please submit this to me as soon as possible. I have sent the, the form to you in your email. If you can't find it, please email me um, so I know how to send your final transcript. I will be working on that on the last two days um, in June. So that way we have the most accurate information that I'm sending out, so please just get that done right away. Next slide. Okay. For our 11th graders, um, families, I just want to let you know that our junior planning meetings have now been completed. The, um, the juniors that did attend have now received their next step, and they've received a planning checklist, which I'm showing right here on the right for you so that the um, students know what they should be working on in the summer and what type of schools and financially they will be applying to in the fall. So please, I do encourage you to sit with your child and review the planning checklist that they filled out so that we are all on the same page and so that you know as a parent what type of um, work they should be working on in the summer for their college and financial aid process. Um, the next thing right now that all juniors should be doing is creating a FAFSA ID, one for themselves and one for um, one parent if they have a qualifying parent. They received all the instructions for this in Google Classroom. So again, I encourage you, please sit with your um, child, review the checklist, review the timelines we have in Google Classroom so we can all be on the same page. Um, a little later on this week, will be receiving a mailed letter home, letting you know if your child completed a planning meeting with me or if they did not, as well as our information for senior orientation. So please be on the lookout for that letter being mailed home. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. And for our PSAL fall sports, if you're interested or if you would like your child to work on um, getting into any sports next year in the fall, um, it starts August 21st. All required PSAL forms can be found on our school website um, under Queen's Technical High School Athletics. Um, the coaches for these particular fall sports for bowling, we have Mr. DeVoe for bowling girls. We have Ms. Patowski for soccer boys. We have Mr. Rashan for soccer girls. We have Mr. Yu. Uh, volleyball girls varsity is Ms. Shimon. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. And then I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Premdale. Hi, everyone. Um, when it comes to CTE, this page is talking about mostly work based learning. Our work based learning coordinator is Ms. Zagata, located in room 449. Her email you can see here and Zagata at schools, or you can also find it on our school's website. Um, one of the questions here says, why do I need work-based learning hours? So we are a CTE school. Our students are in state-approved programs where students at the end of their graduation, they can receive a CTE endorsed high school diploma, which means they were following a CTE track here, as well as at the end of that, they receive certifications along with endorsing that they have completed the sequence. The hours that are needed for work-based learning is 60 hours, and the activities include job shadowing, internships. They aren't paid and also non-paid uh, internships, so not everything is a paid program. And the opportunities where students can go to find these are on the WBL Google Classroom. All students are usually added onto the Google Classroom based on their graduation year. So if they are graduating 2022 or 2023, they have to look for WBL class of 2023. Uh, if they do not see that the class is in their Google Classroom, they can email Ms. Sagata with their full name and OSIS so they can easily get added onto the uh, work-based learning Google Classroom. And this is where they can find all opportunities, work-based learning related, related, as well as even uh, job opportunities after they graduate high school, if they want to go to work and not pursue uh, college after they graduate. They can get job opportunities posted onto there as well. Uh, one thing I would like to add for CTE also is that the ninth graders um, who chose their CTE path for after ninth grade will be getting a letter on the 27th stating which CTE program they received, uh, they got into to follow for their 10th through 12th grade. The 10th grade technology students who were rotating between Cisco, computer repair, and pre-engineering will also get a letter stating which track they're going to continue for the 11th and 12th grade. And uh, that is it for CTE. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Ms. Ramzeo. All right. Um, again, if you have any questions, we apologize for the delay in the recording of this town hall. I hope that some of your questions were answered. Again, please be on the lookout for an email to indicate what the next couple of days of school are going to look like, um, when the students have to come, up th come in and pick up their report card, and any other information. It will be emailed through Pupil Path. It will be posted on the school website. And now I'm going to hand this over to Ms. Berg, our principal, so she can say her end of the year goodbyes. I can't, I can't hear you. Let me see if I can unmute you. One second.
as we said, we have been having some technical difficulties. Um, I'm Miss Berg is going to try to come back in so she can say what she would like. I think you'll be able to hear me now, right? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Um, I'm on my phone, so you'll have to excuse me. I don't know what's going on with my computer, um, but I would like to wish everybody a happy and healthy summer. Um, I think it's been a good but challenging school year, and I wish everybody luck. Um, this is my last year. For those of you who don't know, and I feel like many of you do know, um, I am retiring after the summer. And uh, so I just want to thank you for a wonderful uh, 12 years as principal here of Queens Technical High School and 18 years here in the building and 30 years as an educator in New York City. Um, Good luck and uh, goodbye. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Ms. Berg. All right, everybody. I'm going to end this now. Have a wonderful summer. Bye.